It feels like I've been spending a lot of time here down at the uh, Pacific Bonsai Museum. Today is June 4th. It is our bonsai auction. This is the biggest bonsai auction here in the Pacific Northwest presented by the Pacific Bonsai Association. And let's go check it out. Uh, things are still getting set up. The live auction trees are really high caliber this year. The silent auction. Don't sleep on the silent auction because there's a lot of good stuff in there. I'm Guy Jones, uh, co-chair of the PSBA 2022 auction. Uh, we're here in Federal Way at the Pacific Bonsai Museum. Uh, this has become our, our regular place for the auction. Beautiful setting. Um, we're very excited. The auction is about to start here at 10 a.m. I uh, want to introduce Emmy. Hi, I'm Emmy Crowell. I'm called co-chair of our auction this year with Guy and we're excited. We have about 60 live trees and about 80 silent auction items. Our silent auction is what I have been focused on in terms of helping organize and with it it's an opportunity for our members and non-members to share goods that perhaps they are done with or are some things in progress that aren't quite ready to be in the live auction yet but are opportunities for all of our members to find some new material. So uh, we're really excited this year uh, here at the PSBA auction. This is our primary fundraiser for our organization. Uh, we've been doing this for over 16 years. Uh, a lot of experience across the club members and we're, we're dependent on the volunteers to make this a, a success. This year we've, we're, we've received uh, numerous beautiful trees for the auction. We have a number of shimpakus that are they're just gorgeous. Um, a few pines that are really spectacular. Uh, there are some very old trees here and some very large trees as well as some nice small manageable sized trees. So a great uh, selection this year. Very excited about the quality. Um, I'll turn it over to Emmy. Our silent auction, which is more of our entry price point, has proven to be very exciting in terms of what content we have. What has shown up today are various beautiful nursery stock pieces, even two trees that are in pots themselves that honestly, I could be in the live auction if we would have seen them earlier. Great opportunity for some entry price points for our members and participants today. Yeah, hi, I'm Colin Tracy. I've been a member of the club for six years. I was on the board for three years and I've helped out with the auction, specifically the silent auction here. Uh, this is my third or fourth time now helping out, volunteering to work for the silent auction. Um, so this year, uh, we're seeing something a little bit different with the silent auction. Uh, last year there were relatively few uh, trees that had been worked as bonsai that were actually in bonsai pots um, and they sold really well. The people who brought them did really well. The people who bought them were really excited to be able to take home uh, material that cost them a lot less than it would have in the live auction. But. Um, you know, it's, it's an opportunity to get your hands on some fantastic material at, at prices that those of us who are earlier in our journey in Bonsai can afford. This year, people noticed, and we have way more actual uh, pre-Bonsai in pots. Uh, we have higher quality, more developed stuff that's had a few years in development as Bonsai. Um, and we can go look at a couple just if you, if you like in just a second. Okay, so this came in today. I don't think we've ever seen a deciduous with an abari like this coming into the silent auction before. It's huge. Obviously lots of work and fun for whoever takes this home today, but it's well on its way to being a pretty spectacular Japanese maple. So here's another example of something that we haven't really seen very often in the silent auction. Uh, this is a local bonsai artist who's also a ceramic artist, Ayana Gushak. She has a lot of her material, she's local, a lot of her material for sale in local auction sites, but she brought in these beautiful trees. We don't normally see handmade beautiful pots by local artists, and we don't usually see so many trees already in bonsai pots ready to take home in the silent auction. It's wonderful. Um, real fast, my name's Lance Smith. I'm the president of the PSBA this year. This is our annual fundraising event. We've had some fantastic trees up here and in the silent auction. The silent auction ends 15 minutes after this live auction, okay? So just kind of know that you still have time to go do that. First of all, though, I'd like to introduce Ben from our club, who's going to present um, the winner of our spring show with their award. Thanks, Lance. Virtual. Thank you for everybody who's participating in the uh, auction this year. Thank you for all of you to come out, for coming out this year to attend this auction. 
Um, we had our bonsai show uh, just last month, and Tony won the People's Choice Award. So Tony, where are you at? Tony. Tony. So Tony had a beautiful uh, spruce forest and uh, won the People's Choice Award by a, a far margin. Um, some folks said that it looks so real that it almost has appeared as though Bigfoot <laughs> would be walking through that forest. So we, we just had one thing that would make that, that forest look even better. Is this oh, thank you. Little tiger sketch. <laughs> Thank you all for voting. Good for job, Tony. Thank you. He's no stranger to awards. The flower show has been his for years. Thank you. So I'd like to introduce our commentators, Ken Wassup, Dave DeGrill, as they did last year, and our auctioneer, John. Please kick it off. Hello, everybody. How are you? All right, is everybody ready to have fun today? Yeah. You really sound like it. Let's try that again. Who's ready to have some fun? All right, that's good, that's good. All right, but the, the idea here today, we're going to raise some money. Uh, we'll have a paddle call in the middle uh, for the Bonsai Museum. Uh, thank, thank you to them again for hosting this wonderful event. And if you haven't had the opportunity to go back and tour the exhibits today, I'd really encourage you to do so. It's, it's wonderful. We have a lot of trees here. Some of those trees are actually uh, donated trees that where the proceeds are going to uh, either the, the Bonsai uh, Association, uh, the museum, and then I believe there's one that's uh, for a cancer uh, center as well. So there are some uh, pieces there. But regardless, y'all are going to get to take home some really, really nice... Uh, yeah, a nice little tree. It's got good movement. Uh, it's got well-placed branches. The foliage is very full and uh, looks healthy to me. And uh, pretty good base on it. So anyway, looks like a nice tree. Good example. Nice size bonsai. People don't like sometimes trees that are too big to handle. And this looks just right. It's a beautiful so, tree. Uh, this was uh, purchased in 2016, it says, from a mammoth auction. And uh, by Sam Miller. I think Sam Miller's out of Utah. It's beautiful. All right, it is the Canadian Hemlock who will get me started here. 100 bucks to go. Anybody give me 100 to go? Anybody get a half? I got three, give me three and a half. I got three, give me three and a half now. What do you say, three and a half? I got three, I got three and a half now, four. I got three and a half now, four. I got three and a half now, four. So some uh, branches that have been recently ginned. Uh, but this is where the trunk uh, constitutes the apex of the tree. Uh, for those of you who have uh, looked at uh, Japanese paintings, landscape paintings, you'll find that in, the, um, in many of the scroll paintings and so forth, you'll see this style. And the Japanese term bunjin, meaning scholar, comes from the fact that uh, the uh, paintings were sometimes created by uh, retired uh, businessmen or people. Dollars. I got a one now two. I got a hundred. Give me two. I got one. Give me two. Anybody give me two? Anybody give me two? I got a hundred. Give me two. Who give me two hundred now? Anybody give me two? I got a two. Anybody give me two? I got a hundred. Give me two. We are there. We go two now three. I got two now. Put up for the reserve. This is a root over rock Japanese maple. Uh, prior to the start of the auction, I looked at it uh, pretty closely, and it's, the, the roots are really quite well uh, adhered uh, in most places to the stone. Uh, so, and it, uh, uh, it's an interesting stone in that it, it, it has variation in size. Um, interesting tree with some uh, movement to it. It's a graceful look in a, in a Chinese, uh, 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 actually in a Korean pot, 20 years old. Nice little maple here. Who'll get it started with 100 bucks to go? Somebody, I got one now too. I got two, give me three. I got three, give me four now. I got three, give me four. If I'm not mistaken, this is one where the proceeds go to the association. 
So this one you also, I think, get to write off as a donation when you buy this. So who can start with a hundred bucks to go? Anybody, anybody want, I got one now, two, I got a hundred, give me two. I got two now, three. I got two, give me three now. I got two, give me three now, and I'm gonna give me three. I got two, give me three now, and I'm gonna give me three. Who give me three now, and I'm gonna give me three. I got two, give me three, and I'm gonna give me three. Who give me three? I got two, give me three, anybody give me three? I got two, give anybody want to get in at two and a half? I got two and a half now, three. I got two and a half now, three. It'll give me three now. I got two and a half, give me three. I got two and a half, give me three. I got two and a half, give me three now. What do you say? Last chance, last call. Sold, 250. Uh, uh, and uh, anyway, this is a, <laughs> a, a mountain hemlock collected uh, by Anton Niehaus on Vancouver Island. For those of you, uh, Anton has been a vendor at a, a number of PNBCA um, uh, conventions, uh, uh, collects some marvelous shore pines and mountain hemlocks uh, from Vancouver Island. I understand that he has retired now and somebody has bought uh, a chunk of his collection. And so we're fortunate to have a number of his trees six, here. Seven. I got six, give me seven. I got six, give me seven now. I got a six, give me seven. I got a six, give me seven now. Anybody give me seven? Who give me seven now? Anybody want to get a seven? I got a six, give me seven now. What do you think? I got seven, give me eight. I got seven, give me eight now. Seven, give me eight now. Come on, give me eight. I got seven, give me eight now. Come on, give me eight. You know you want this. You can't pick that up anywhere. That's not like you go down to mole, mole max and pick that up, you know. All right, um, in my opinion, this is one of the most exciting trees here. Uh, this is European olive, and uh, the reason I find this exciting is because um, I've been to China several times, and uh, there is a style there that uses the living stump of the tree as a landform, and instead of trying to turn it into a single tree, all of those sprouts are trained into individual trees growing on the mountain. And uh, the possibilities in this are just tremendous. So um, go for it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's it's I got a six, give me seven now. I got a six, give me seven now. I got a six, give me seven now. Anybody give me seven? I got a six, give me seven now. I got a six, give me seven now. Seven now, eight. I got a seven now eight. I got eight now nine. I got eight now nine. Come on, give me nine. Come on, give me nine. Give me nine. Give me nine. You know you want to do it. Give me nine. On a uh, rock slab, um, in a slanting style, uh, it has a number of, of potential gin on there that just need to be uh, cleaned up and bleached a little bit to add to its uh, uh, sort of a, a mountaintop swept, leaning look to it. Um, its estimated age is 30 years. Uh, what else can I say about it? And it's been in training for 10 years. Um, we know it's an older tree because the bark uh, is, is quite craggy on it and it takes a while for Japanese large to get that bark up. Beautiful. All right, folks, get it started with 100 to go. Who will get me started with one? Anybody get me? There's a one, now a two, there's a two, now a three. I got mature bark. It's got a very pleasant movement and uh, nice upright branching, which is uh, typical of, of course, most broadleaf trees. And so, instead of styling it artificially to look like a pine tree, it's been styled to look like a crab apple. And of course, <laughs> they, they flower and get fruit and are just generally nice trees to have, not to mention a very considerable base that it's got. So, here goes a crab apple. Uh, anybody get a five? Four and a half? Four and a half, what do you say? Four and a half, anybody? Left? There's four and a half. I got four and a half now, five. I got four and a half, give me five. I got five now, five and a half. I got five, give me five and a half now. I got five, give me five and a half. Five and a half, five and a half. Anybody, last chance, last call. So, $500, number 102. Thank you very much. Uh, in a literati style, as, as David explained a little bit about the, the history of the literati style. Um, uh, this is listed as approximately 25 years of age. It's been in training for nine years um, and uh, obviously it's been styled as a literati. What's, what's attractive to it is that it has a, a, a number of branches to, to work with and choose from and the needles are nice and short. They look in perspective to the tree. It'd be a nice addition to, I think, anybody's collection. Four. I got three, give me four. I got three, give me four now, give me four. I got three, give me four, give me four. I got four now, five. I got four, give me five, give me five, and what do you think, give me five. I got four, give me five. I got four, give me five, give me five, anybody, give me five. I got four, give me five, anybody out of the yard, give me five. Who, give me five now, anybody, give me five. All right. 
forest. All right, we got a nice, I, I call it a grove, but anyway, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, nice shimpaku. Uh, this, this is a good, the various trees, and really good proportion between the branches and the trunks. In other words, the branches are not too large, they're not too long, they're in a good size relationship, and a lot of work has been done for you already on this with a lot of wiring, a lot of shaping that's been done. Um, so this looks like a good one to me. Anybody give me a holler and I go, I got one, give me two. I got one, give me two. I got one, give me two. Anybody give me two. Anybody give me two. Anybody give me two? I got two, now three. Six and a half. Anybody give me seven? Last chance, last call. So, $650 number. Movement, it's well presented in the pot. Uh, it's just a delightful little tree. Uh, what else do we know about it? It's 15 years old and uh, be a nice addition to anybody's collection. Let's get it started. He'll give us 100 to go. I got one, give me two. I got two, give me three. I got three, give me four. I got four, now five. There's five, now six. I got a five, give me six now. Who give me six now? I got a five, give me six. Anybody give me six? I got a five, give me six now. $500, number 81. Thank you very much. This one up is uh, Alaska Yellow Cedar. Um, this is uh, collected from uh, British Columbia, and uh, it comes complete with companion plants. In the pot. <laughs> and, uh, no, you know, uh, this got a slow start. Uh, this species got a slow start around here because everybody was using hinoki and, and uh, chipaku and, and other Japanese trees and not realizing what good material we had native uh, to our region. And since then, people have discovered that, oh my gosh, you can, you can work it just like you work a hinoki, and it turns out great. It's really nice compact foliage, and it's got a beautiful natural uh, trunk with natural age that you can't duplicate uh, in a pot. So, anyway, that's it. It's beautiful. They three, give me four, I get four, now five. I get four, now five, and I get five, I get five, now six. I got a five, now six, now six. I got six, now seven. I got six, give me seven. I got seven, give me eight. I got seven, give me eight. Uh, this tree is listed as being approximate age of 60 years. I, I think um, it, it's clearly a collected tree. It's been in training for 60 years. Um, of, of interest... In training uh, for 10 years. I'm sorry, what did I say? 60? Ten years. I just missed it by fifty. A half a century. A half a century. Okay. Um, uh, of interest is the pot. It's a Sarah Rayner pot, and I think most people know who Sarah Rayner is. Uh, located in Minnesota, uh, a longtime American pot maker whose pots are highly sought after. Um, tree with great movement, shari, gin. Uh, it's uh, again as David was uh, uh, talking about the branches are, are, are nicely balanced and in perspective to the trunk. Um, sweet little tree. Yeah, it's got a lot going for it. Who will get a start? I got four now five. I got four now five. There's five now six. Who will give me six? Six, 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 now seven. I got six, give me seven now. I got a six, give me seven. I got a six, give me seven. What is that? Give me seven, give me seven, give me seven. Who will give me seven? Who will give me seven? Anybody other set? You're in six, but thank you. Nine? Anybody going to give me nine? Anybody going to give me nine? Nobody wants to go. You'll go up to nine, but will you go all the way up to ten? That's our reserve on this one. Double trunk, uh, uh, red maple. The red maple is a tree that grows all across the United States, from top to bottom, from east to west, and um, so it's very well adapted to anywhere. This is particularly nice because, number one, the main trunk has great taper, a beautiful base, great proportion between the number one tree or the, the uh, primary tree and the secondary tree. Um, uh, the classic movement. Uh, one now two. I got one. Give me two. And I'm gonna give me two. I got two now three. I got two. Give me three. I got three now four. I got three. Give me four now. And I'm gonna give me four. I got four and a half. I got five. Give me five and a half. I got five. Anybody give me five and a half? I got five. Last chance. Last call. On it. Uh, a lot of movement. Um, sweet little tree. Uh, is that a turn? I got two, give me three. I got two, give me three now, give me three. I got two, give me three. I got three now, four. I got three, give me four, give me those four now, five. I got four, give me five, and I'm gonna five. Come on, give me five, those five now, six. I got five now, six. I got six now, seven. I got six, give me seven. I got six, give me lucky number seven. I got six, give me seven. What do you say? Anybody give me nine and a half? 
I got nine, give me nine and a half. You're out, give me nine and a half. All done, all set, all done. $900 number 116, thanks for your persistence. Uh, several Korean hornbeams in my collection, and in my younger days I collected Carolina hornbeams down in the south. And uh, they're unfailingly, they, they tend to get nice fall color, and they uh, are really easy to work with. They're easy, they take the cutbacks real well, give you nice, uh, if you, if you, are religious in trimming them back. They give you nice fine branching so they uh, can give you a nice winter silhouette. Overall nice tree. Super! Who will get us started here? I need a hundred to go. We're going to be four and a half. What do you think at home? Anybody else new? Four hundred going once. Four hundred going twice. Last chance, last call. Sold four hundred dollars. Number 20 years, 20 plus years old. Uh, it's in an Yixing Chinese pot. Yixing uh, clay is, is often called purple sand clay. It's a very fine clay from the Yixing region of China, highly sought after. Yixing teapots were, were made of the same material. Um, this was field grown at Teleperian Farms down in Oregon. Um, the initial styling is listed here as done by the late Charlie Anderson but it was recently restyled by Eric and Victorina um, uh, Ridgeway and uh, was repotted just this year, so it's ready to go. I got five and a half, five and a half. I got five and a minute, five and a half, five and a half. I got five and a half now, six. I got five and a half now, six. Give me six, what do you say? I got five and a half now, six. There's six now, six and a half. What do you say? Japanese, Japanese black pine um, grown from a two-year-old seedling. 34 years old, 25 years in bonsai training. Uh, this is something that you almost never see. And the reason I'm saying that is generally uh, black pines grown as nursery plants, uh, they, they're upside down. What I mean by that is that when they're small, the branches are close together. And as they get potted up and grow faster, all the internodes and everything gets farther apart and they get longer. You want your longer spaces at the bottom and your shorter at the top. Uh, this one has beautiful branching, not only beautiful movement, beautiful branching and great taper. The other thing is that usually when they're grown fast they have what's called a sacrifice branch uh, which is cut off at, a prop at the appropriate time but it leaves a big scar. There's beautiful bark no big scars, great taper, great Somebody blend. Somebody get it started here with a hundred bucks to go. Anybody else? I got one now too. Who give me two now and a minute two? There's two now three. I got two, give me three. There's nine, three give me ten. Four. I got nine, give me ten now. I got nine, give me ten. Anybody give me ten? Can we crack that ten? Anybody out there? Last chance, last call. Sold nine hundred dollars. Uh, what I like about this tree is the movement to it. And again, the branching, the size of the branches are in nice, uh, uh, have a nice relationship to the trunk. They're not too big, and that's often a problem with, with uh, 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 maples, uh, is that the, the branches can get too big in relation to the trunk. So this has nice movement, the leaf size is 20 nice. 20 years old, in training for seven years. Nice little tree. It is a nice little tree. Get it started with a hundred bucks. There's my one, there's my two, I need three. I got three now, four. Give me six, how about five and a half? I got five and a half now, six. Here we go again. Give me six. Anybody get any six? Six, 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 six. All right, we've got a Kishu juniper up. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kishu is a form of uh, Shimpaku or Sergeant Juniper that has very nice, tight foliage, and it's prized for that characteristic of the foliage. Really gorgeous color on this tree. It's been well maintained, well cared for well styled and because it's from a cutting it has the same characteristic as the pine tree in that it has branches that are really well placed all the way through the tree. So uh, not only nice movement of the trunk uh, but very well handled in the branch placement, uh, size and so forth. So another good one uh, grown, from, grown from a cutting. It's beautiful. All right, who'll get it started? I need one. Who goes first? Give me a hundred to go. Anybody? Else? There's my one. There's my two. I need three. I got three now. Four. There's four now. Five. Who'll give me five now? There's five now. Seven. Do the math. It's only fifty dollars more. I can do that part. I got seven and a half. Give me eight. I got seven and a half. Give me eight. Done. You did it. Eight hundred fifty dollars. Number forty-nine. Thank you very much. Another Hino crimson Karume. 
Uh, this one, a larger tree in a, in a clay pot. Um, again, a nice movement to it, well-placed branches. Uh, its estimated age is 35 years. So, number five and a half, or 550, number 113, thank you very much. All right, whoops. <laughs> All right, so in training since, uh, where is that on here? I was looking for it. It's been in training for a long time. 1994. 1994. So a lot of work on this thing. Uh, we call this Phoenix graft. In Japanese, uh, the Japanese term is tanuki. Tanuki means badger. And in Japanese folklore, the badger was a trickster who could shapeshift and seduce young women. Randy Badgers. Um, anyway, uh, we've, we've got this tree here, and so the idea is that it's a piece of uh, driftwood, or dead wood, uh, to which a living tree has been applied, so that um, you see the advantages of gorgeous driftwood that might take hundreds of years to grow in nature, and uh, uh, attached to that is something that you've been able to control and create the shape that you want. And so here it is, Tanuki. It's a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Who'll get me started here with $100 to go? Somebody, there's one now, two. I got one, give me two now, give me two. There's two now, three now, four. Who'll give me four? There's two. 23 now, 23 and a half. 23 and a half now, 24. 23 and a half now, 24. It's just two dozen. 24, 24, there we go. 24 and a half. 24 and a half, what do you say? 24 and a half. 24, 24 and a half. 24, 24 and a half. There we go, 24, 25. Lucky number 25, let's go, 25. There it is, 25, 26. 25, 26. 26, what do you say? 25 and a half. 25 and a half, 26. 25 and a half, 26. I got 26, 26 and a half. All good, all good, 26 hundred dollars. How about a round of applause for number 45? Thank you very much. Uh, is a tree that the, the needles come off all the way around the branch with the western hemlock they come off on either side so they kind of hang a little bit um, and and droop just a little bit and look so elegant um, this tree has a uh, nice movement um, the branches are, are, are well placed it has a little deadwood with some gin on it uh, I think you know this would be a, a great tree, and, and it, it's perfectly naturally suited to this environment. Um, it's listed as uh, 25 years old and was uh, collected in 1999. It's been in training since 2008. And let's get this going. Who'll get a hundred to go? I got one now, two. I got two now, three. I got two. Give me three now. Give me three. I got three now. Four others. Four now. Five. Who'll give me five now? I got six. Give me six and a half. Last chance. Last call. Number 112, $600, thank you very much. Three and a half, give me four. I got three and a half, give me four. What do you say, anybody give me four? I got Here we have a Sucomo Cypress. Um, I think everything, you know, this, this tree has been styled. I think the branches are in the right place. It's got um, gin on it that can be worked and enhanced. Uh, I think what what attracts me to the tree is, is the movement of it and what it really needs now is just some pad development. A nice feature of Sukomo is that they're one of the more maintenance free trees to grow. They grow three, very... Give me three now and I'm going to three. I got two, give me three now and I'm going to three. I got two, give me three and I'm going to three. I got two, give me three now and I'm going to three. And there's three all now. Set, all done. All done. Four and a half. Number 37. Thank you very much. So this is uh, um, listed as either a Western or Siberian larch. Uh, it's a it's a it's got a wonderful design to it. It has that uh, craggy, ancient look to it. Uh, um, you know, the, the tree has nicely placed branches. The pads are well developed, um, and they have structure to them, which which is a real plus. It's in a Yixing Chinese pot. This was field grown at the Wee Tree Farm in Oregon. It was first designed in 2012, and then uh, and and, uh, and it's been styled by Eric and Victorinia. Uh, 
Ridgeway for about the last 10 years. Marvelous uh, uh, example of large deciduous conifer that produces lovely, beautiful fall color and then you're greeted with that new spring growth every year. It's, they're a wonderful tree. Wonderful tree. Get it started with 100 bucks. I got a one all over the place. I, I think I had 800 of ones. That's, that's, I got one here. Give me two. I got one. Give me two. 12 and a half. Now 13. Oh, give me 13. I got 12 and a half. Give me 13 now. What do you say? 13. Lucky number 13. Anybody else? I got 13 right up front. And then I got 14 right there. And a half. I got 14 19 and a half. What do you think? You're out? Anybody else coming in at the last minute? We sold it for $1,900. To be the new executive director here at the museum. And um, I'm so honored to be partnering with PSBA on this awesome auction. So thank you all for being here because PSBA has announced that they will donate all of your panel fees to support the museum. So yay! Most of you know me, probably don't recognize me today. <laughs> I'm the assistant curator here, and I've been here since 1995. <clears throat> the gator is our most critical piece of equipment we have here. Four, give me five, I got five, now six. I got to buy, give me six, now give me six. I got to buy, give me six, 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 who give me six? I got to buy, give me six. I got to buy, give me six. Anybody give me I got six, give me six and a half. I got six, give me six and a half, now what do you say? Anybody out there, last chance, last call. I got six, give me six and a half. Seven and a half now. I got seven, give me seven and a half, what do you say? All set, all done. <laughs> Let me know, are you done? She's done, I got $700, number 40. The, the feeling of being near a tall mountain um, in that uh, <clears throat> low crackle pot, um, uh, it's, a, it's, 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 a nice, it's a nice display. Um, this was purchased in 2020. Right I got seven, give me seven and a half. I got seven, give me seven and a half. I got seven, give me seven and a half. Last chance, last call. Seven hundred dollars. We should mention that it's in a Tokoname pot. Tokoname is uh, an area in Japan, a uh, city, uh, where there are uh, multiple kilns, and it's famous for the quality of its ware. So, in addition to the quality of the tree, you get the quality of the pot. I like Trident maples because, uh, but botanists would say they have an indeterminate growth habit. And what that means is they keep growing all during the growing season. So, Trident maples. I mean, uh, Japanese maples have a determinate growth habit. That means they have one primary flush of growth and then a couple maybe secondary, but these guys just keep going. What does that mean for you? It means you can get a lot of development out of them every year. So you get more than one chance to trim back, you get more than one chance to get branch development. So uh, pretty good material. Fabulous. All right. Who can have started with 100 to go? Come on. All right. There's one. There's two. Now three. I got two. Give me three. I got two. Give me three. Now. I got three. Give me four. Now there's four. Now five. I got four. Give me five. Now I'm going to five. I got four. Give me five. Now I'm going to five. I got four. Give me five. Now I'm going to five. I'm going to five. I got four. Give me five. Four and a half. I got four and a half. Still need five. Give me five now. I got five now. Five and a half. I got five. Give me five and a half now. What do you say? I got five. Give me five and a half. I got five and a half now. Six. I got six. Six and a half. I got six now. Six and a half. I got six now. Six and a half. What do you say? Last chance I had is six and a half. Now Ben's back to you at seven. Yeah. $700 number 72. The hemlock, this is a uh, twin trunk, again collected by Anton Niehaus off of Vancouver Island. Uh, Anton has estimated this at about 150 years of age. So you really have, uh, I assume they're root connected. Um, you really have two trees to work with and create a, a relationship between the two. Again, lots of branches to work with. Um, the bark is mature and starting to flake. This will be a, a very nice blank slate for somebody to start uh, working on. Who will get it started here with one to go? I got one, there's two, now three, I need four. I got three, now four. I got three, give me four, there's four, now five. Who'll get five? All right, um, in my opinion, this is one of the most exciting trees here. Uh, this is European olive, and uh, the reason I find this exciting is because um, I've been to China several times and uh, there is a style there that uses the living stump of the tree as a landform and instead of trying to turn it into a single tree all of those sprouts are trained into individual trees growing on the mountain and uh, the possibilities in this are just tremendous so um, 
Go for it. Anybody gonna get a hundred? Anybody got a one to go? Anybody gonna get a hundred bucks to go? I got one now, two. I got one, two, four, now five. I got a four, now five, and we're gonna be five. I got a four, now five, and I'm gonna get five. Wait. I got a seven now eight. I got eight now nine. I got eight now nine. Come on, give me nine. Come on, give me nine. Give me nine. Give me nine. You know you want to do it. This has uh, been grown, uh, as I recall, from seedling. Two-year-old seedling. From a two-year-old two seedling. Thirty-two years old. That is amazing. Twenty-five years in training. Uh, look at the double trunk on this thing. That is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. And again, it's that taper that 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 you can't fake very well. Um, Really nice mature bark on it, well placed branches, uh, foliage in, nice and close to the trunk. I need a hundred, there's one, not two. Give me one, give me two, and give me I got nine, you're there? 950. I got 950, now 10. I get 10 from 10. I need 1050. I got 10, give me 10 and a half. I got 10, give me 10 and a half. Anybody, last chance, last call, Ben's brother? Bid number on the last three? 13. 13. Careful. So, you can take this home in your back pocket. <laughs> we can use the gator once we buy it to help move into the car. It comes with the gator. <laughs> yeah, it comes with the gator. Okay, collected in Florida. Uh, uh, gators make sense. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's perfect. The uh, S, uh, it's been in training 25 years, I understand, but the age of it is much more than that, of course, because it was growing in a swamp uh, before it was collected, and it's got uh, a really interesting root system on them. Uh, very, very many times, these will get multiple root systems as floodwaters uh, come upon them and then drop a load of silt and then recede and they make a layer of roots here and then a layer of roots here and so on and eventually you get this beautiful flared base lots of roots and um, uh, it's been handled very well that large trunk this is probably about 15 feet tall when it was collected and they handled it very well in terms of reducing the trunk and regrowing the top so anyway very picturesque and very uh, bald cypress-ish so hope you enjoy it it's a beautiful tree who will get it started here one hundred dollars now two now I three nine i got nine give me ten i got nine give me ten i got ten give me eleven now i got ten give me eleven there's eleven now twelve i got eleven give me twelve i got eleven give me twelve now give me twelve i got eleven there's twelve now thirteen i got twelve now thirteen what do you say thirteen i got sixteen now seventeen i got seventeen now eighteen i got seventeen now eighteen i got seventeen give me eighteen now i got seventeen give me eighteen i got eighteen <laughs> native. Uh, they're related to the lodgepole but have a completely different growth characteristic. Lots of movement in this tree. The foliage looks very healthy. The bark is very mature and, and flaky. Um, the estimated age on this tree is 250 years old. Uh, again collected on Vancouver Island. Uh, I think it's just a spectacular tree. Six, I got five, I need six. Who'll give me six? I got six, now seven. I got seven, there's 1,800 to number 116. Thank you very much. Very nice. Uh, number 42 is a Japanese larch in a slanting style. It has some uh, shari on the front. It is, uh, uh, has a nice presentation. Uh, it fits well in the pot. It's, it's well planted, placed in the pot. It has a natural uh, mountaintop feel to it. Uh, this tree is approximately 50 years old, was uh, acquired from Charlie Anderson, for those who remember Charlie. Uh, it was recently styled by Eric and Victor, uh, Victrinia. Um, I'll get it right one of these days. And, uh, uh, and was shown at the third National Bonsai Exhibition, I believe in Rochester. Um, and the proceeds go to Harmony Hill Cancer Set Retreat Center, uh, Lake Union. And I think that is in Union rather than Lake Union. So you're helping out. This is one of those that has been donated and you're helping out. Uh, uh, all the proceeds are going to go to the Cancer Center in Union, Washington. So who will get to start here with $100 to go? I got one. I got two. I got three. Now four. 
I got four, now five. I got four, now five. There's five, now six, now seven. I got seven, give me eight. I got seven, give me eight. I got eight, give me nine, nine, ten, eleven. Who give me eleven now? I got sixteen now. I got fifteen up front here, nine, sixteen. There's sixteen, now seventeen. I got sixteen, now seventeen. I got seventeen, now eighteen. I got seventeen, give me eighteen. I got seventeen, give me $2,000 number 60, thank you very much. I was daydreaming. So here we have a ponderosa pine uh, in, a, in a slant style. Uh, and the, the, uh, one of the things I find interesting about uh, ponderosa pines is, you know, west of the mountains, they, they, are, uh, they develop a little slower than east of the mountains because we don't have quite as much sun. But if you're diligent about cutting back and doing appropriate fertilizing them at the appropriate time, you can really reduce the needles substantially and get away from those six inch long needles to what you see here. Seven and a half, give me eight. What are you saying? Anybody going to get eight? Seven and a half, give me eight. Come on, give me eight. It's not that much more. Give me eight. You, you, were, at, you were in there, so it's, you were in at seven. It's, a, it's just one more. Seven and a half, give me eight. Seven and a half, give me eight. All set, all done. There is my eight. All right. I got eight. On it. Uh, a lot of movement. Um, sweet little tree. Uh, two, give me three. I got two, give me three now, give me three. I got two, give me three. I got three now, four. I got three, give me four, give me four, now. Five. I got six, give me seven now. Anybody give me seven? Uh, give me six and a half. Give me, give me six and a half. I got six and a half, give me nine. Yes, no. I got nine, give me nine and a half. I got nine, give me nine and a half. I got nine, give me nine and a half. You're out, give me nine and a half. All done, all set, all done. $900 number 116, thanks for your position. Uh, this is estimated to be 18 years old in training for seven years. Uh, the original uh, origin of this is uh, uh, Masa Furukama. Uh, and Masa was uh, uh, Portland area and, and did some marvelous work with uh, with a variety of, of Japanese beach and European beach. And so, um, this tree, I think, is very graceful. Uh, I was tempted, but I'm not acquiring trees now. Um, but anyway, it's a it's a it's a graceful tree. Uh, I think beech have a um, just an elegant. Look. I got seven. Give me eight. I got seven. Give me eight now. I got seven. Give me eight. I got seven. Give me eight. Give me eight. Anybody else? Come on. Give me eight. I got seven. Anybody want to get in at seven and a half? Anybody at seven and a half? Last chance. Last call. Seven hundred dollars, number seventy-six. Variety of uh, Atlas here, named for its uh, native range of the Atlas Mountains of Morocco. So it's a high elevation Mediterranean tree that does very well in our low elevation, almost Mediterranean climate. And uh, this is really well styled. It's got a great base on it, very substantial base, lots of taper. It has that extended branch again very popular now and um, beautiful foliage and they're easy to maintain. They're nice trees for bonsai. Who are we gonna start up on one to go? I got a one now two, uh, I got give me 12. I got 11, give me 12. I got 11, there's 12, now 13. I got 12, now 13. I got 12, now there's 13, now 14. 19, I got 13, and 19, now 20. I got 20, 21. I got 20, give me 21. I got 20, give me 21. I got 20, give me 21. I got 20, 21, 21. Went into bonsai Northwest and asked if they had any cotton Easters. <laughs> um, but it's a, it's a, a, a very elegant, I think, uh, uh, Katoni Aster. It's, a, as I said, rock spray. It's 12 years old and you, in the spring you're greeted with pink flowers. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's a sweet little tree. It is. It is. Who will get it started here with a hundred to go? I got a one, there's a two. We're going to call it a Psyche. Uh, Psyche meaning, uh, uh, Psy meaning uh, planting and K meaning nature or landscape. So landscape planting meaning that it has significant features other than the tree. In this case, uh, the rock and the uh, the rock and the suggestion of a hillside and other features in the landscape besides the trees. It's beautiful, very well done. Uh, you can see that it's been cared for for a long time. And um, oh, it's got connected root over the rock too. Okay, so that's pretty special. Anyway, it looks like we've got a, 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 a total of about uh, five trunks, three on the main rock, and then a kind of a little double trunk off to the side. So 
Very graceful. Seven, now eight. I got seven, need eight. I got seven, give me eight now. Anybody in the rest of the room want to play? I got seven, give me eight. There's eight, give me nine. There's nine, give me ten. Now thirteen, we are out. I got twelve, now thirteen. Anybody in at thirteen? I got twelve, lucky number thirteen. Don't give me thirteen. I got thirteen here, now fourteen. I got sixteen. She says no. Anybody else? I got fifteen, now sixteen. Last chance, last call. Fifteen hundred, number fifty-four. Thank you very, very much. It, no grass. No grass. No grass. No grass. No no yeah, that's great. You rarely see that. Um, it's 40 years in training. Uh, 40 years old and about uh, six years old in training. We don't see many Cork Park pines come into the auction, so um, this is an opportunity. Let alone one without a graft. Yeah. All right. Who can start well now? I got 11, give me 12. 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 You got Porsche, you got 12. What is it going to be? I got, I got 11 and a half. 13 up 11. front, now 14. I got 13, give me 14. I got 13, give me 14. What do you say, give me 14? I got 13, give me 14. I got 13, now 14. I got 13, now 14. Uh, something you don't see very often, which is multiple trunk. That's highly unusual. But also that it's so <laughs> compact. So uh, this was collected in Utah, I understand. And uh, it's got a great... You can see that there's been some good work done to it because the foliage is very compact. It's uh, very healthy and it has a really nice wild look to it. Like you can, you can see yourself in the mountains when you look at this tree. All right, he'll go. He'll Handmade go Sharon Muth pot. That's right. For those of you who know, the Sharon Muth pot is highly prized around here. And the pot is dated 1977. Wow. 1977 Sharon Muth pot. That alone's got to be worth 100 bucks. Who's starting us off? There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. I need to give me nine now. I got eight, give me nine, you'll give me nine. I got eight, give me nine. I got eight, give me nine now, anybody give me nine. I got eight, give me nine. I got eight, give me nine, nine, give me nine and a half. What do you say? I got nine out, I need nine and a half. I got nine, give me nine and a half. I got nine, give me nine and a half. Up down, and how you can work with it. And here's an example. So in this case, uh, this has been pinched back and so on, and you're, you're seeing that it's being brought, that foliage is being brought into scale with a much smaller tree and works very well. So, uh, lots of good look on this, the, uh, the kind of the mountain look of the downswept branches. Uh, nice sweep to the trunk, and here we go. I'll ask the yellow cedar. All right, who goes first? There's one, now two. I got one, give me two, there's two, now three. I got give me six. I got to buy, give me six. Anybody give me six? I got to buy, give me six. Five and a half, anybody? Five and a half. I got five and a half, give me six. Five and a half, give me six. Five and a half, give me six. Five. Front here, I don't know. Yeah, this is probably the front. It, it, it leans back just a tiny bit, but... Um. <laughs> well, okay, so weeping hemlock is typically, it's a sport or a variety of uh, Canadian hemlock. And uh, so they're very hardy here. Uh, they get very dense, as you can see, so you can... Uh, uh, this one is, has grown uh, just uh, terrifically and uh, you can open them up, thin them out a little bit. And what's great about this is I do a, a lot of weeping style trees that I create artificially by, by wiring the branches down and then of course during the growing season they revert and they're no longer weeping and then I have to take the wire off and wait until winter and, and so on. Well, weeping hemlock, the beauty of it is of course is that it's naturally weeping and that all you have to do is actually work with the tree's own morphology with its own uh, branching structure to get a beautiful <laughs> bone size. So it's, it's really good material. They're very forgiving. And very forgiving, someone said, yeah. And the other thing is that um, they take to uh, container culture very well, very accepting of that, which is why the nursery industry uh, has used them, Canadian hemlock, so much uh, for different varieties. Um, I also want to add, this comes from the Roland Folsey collection. Roland Folsey was one of the original, I understand, one of the original bonsai bums 
uh, that helped form. Three, four. There's four now five. I got four. Give me five now. Five now six. There's six now seven. I got six. Give me seven. I got six. Give me seven now. I got six. Give me seven now. And again, there's seven. Give me eight. I got eight. Give me nine. I got eight. Give me nine. I got eight up front. Give me nine now. There's nine now. Ten. There's ten now. Eleven. I got ten. Give me eleven. I got ten in back. Give me eleven now. I got ten. Give me eleven. I got ten. Give me eleven. There's eleven now. Twelve. I got eleven. Give me twelve. I got eleven. Give me twelve. And twelve. And twelve. Give me twelve. There's twelve now. Third round here. Mostly. In landscape nurseries, you see the sort of camellia, which is what's growing right out here in the landscape, and that has a larger leaf, larger flower, larger twig structure, and a kind of a tan bark. Uh, this has smaller leaves, smaller flowers, um, and a beautiful cinnamon red bark, and they get great fall color. I mean, the, everything about this tree is desirable, and so this is a nice. Um, Boy, that's a terrific base. That's incredible. So anyway, um, here we go. Kind of a clump style Stewardia. Who will get it started? There's a one. There, where's a two? There's a two. There's a three. There's a four. Give me a five. Here, give me eight. Give me eight. Who will give me eight? I got eight. Give me nine. I got eight. Give me nine now. There's my nine. I need a ten. I need ten now. I got nine. Give me ten. I got nine. Give me ten. I got nine. Give me ten. Give me ten. What do you say? Number ten gives me ten. I like it. You've been. I can count on you for that all day long. That's great. Some gin to accent. Uh, you don't uh, frequently see gin on Japanese black pine, but this is sort of a a rugged streamside appearance to a tree. Uh, the age is uh, estimated at 20 years, and it's been in training for six years. And here we go. I got one. Give me two. I got a hundred. Give me two now. I got three. Give me four now. Give me four. I got three. Give me four. I got a four in there now. Five. I got four now. Five. I just want to make sure you know that because you both went up at the same time. I got four. Give me five. I got four. Give me five. Um, trained. You can see for quite a while. Did I see twenty years? Yes, you did. Yeah. And a um, made Aaron pot. Yeah, and it, and it looks like it looks like it. Those twenty years are showing in the development of the tree, which is a very good development on this thing. Now uh, the leaves are nice and small. I mean, they could be much bigger. Uh, they're actually uh, good size, and of course, you all know what gorgeous fall color these trees get. So a nice tree. It's a gentle, yeah. soft. I got thirteen now. Thirteen and a half. Thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. What do you say? Anybody else? Last chance, last call. 13.50. I got 13.50. That's 14 to you. 13.50, 14 to you. 13.50, 14 to you. What do you say? 14 to you. Last chance, last call. Sold. 13.50 number. Uh, again, this was uh, collected by Anton. He house on Vancouver Island. Uh, it's in a concrete pot also created by... Uh, Anton. Um, the estimated age on this tree, I don't think I said it, is about a hundred years. Uh, twin trunk, uh, um, uh, you know, this is a, a tree that, that uh, has some elegance to it um, and uh, leaves the new purchasers some decisions to make on how they want to uh, continue to style it. Um, I am a big fan of short pines and they respond well to cut eight. back. I got seven over here, give me eight, give me eight, give me eight, who give me eight? I got seven, give me eight. I got seven, give me eight now. I got seven over here, give me eight. I got seven, give me eight. Anybody give me seven and a half, seven and a half, what do you say? I got seven, give me seven and a half. Anybody give me seven and a half, what do you say? I got seven, give me seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, you're in at seven. The idea here is the cork bark gives it an uh, enhanced uh, appearance of age. Uh, one of the features of cork bark elm is they have very dense foliage so that in, you've got a lot of choices to make in terms of developing branches because uh, you don't have to worry about spindly growth ever when you have a cork bark uh, Chinese elm. So there's a lot to work with here. Uh, it's already got a nice trunk, nice shape, good base, and it's in um, uh, a nice appropriate kind of oval pot for it. It's got lots of room to grow. And so this is it, cork bark Chinese elm. All right, we got a hundred there now. Two now three. I got three now four. I got three now four. Anybody get four? There's four now five. I got four now five. Anybody get four? There's five now six. I got five now six. What do you say? I got a five now six. She wants five and a half. There's six. Collected from Vancouver Island. Uh, there's a number of trees in here. Uh, 
today. So my name is Hansi, I'm the owner of Lazio Ponsa Studios. Uh, I just come and they have been a fantastic, such amazing trees this year. The people helping and we appreciate the time and, and it's an amazing group of people. I think that one of the cool things about the Northwest, especially Seattle in this group, we are together and we're trying to be, to, to keep it every positive, so that's amazing. Uh, hopefully I will see it next year. I probably will bring some trees, so stay tuned. Thank you so much, man. The auction was awesome this year. I, I feel like there's a little more people, uh, a little higher energy, I felt, and uh, I think it went great. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that the, the club, the museum, is all benefiting from the amount of people here and, and the donations that are coming in. Uh, a lot of fun, good turnout, um, decent weather, um, awesome trees, as usual. Did you get anything this year? I didn't this year, no, I actually yeah. I brought in some trees and they all got uh, new homes, um, so yeah, it was super fun. How'd you feel about the auction this year? Uh, it was a pretty good time. Yeah, uh, did you win anything? Uh, I did, I did. I got myself a Mugo pine and my girlfriend got a crab apple. Nice. Yeah, so nice. super excited Which about Mugo? that. The PSBA 2022 Bonsai Auction for this year was amazing. The trees were great, the turnout was fantastic. The silent auction had a frenzy of activity towards the end of the uh, the event and it was fantastic almost every single tree sold i am so thankful to be part of such a fantastic club everyone in the club that is on the board has so many talents that they bring to the table um, whether it's organization putting together a fantastic event you know the uh, intensive labor work that's involved with carrying out the event as well as just kind of the the marketing promotions and you know the the little details that makes it a successful event. So I would like to thank Emmy and Guy, Joseph, uh, and everybody involved in this auction this year for putting together such a fantastic show. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Take care.